Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we are looking at fractions and decimals both. First, some review. Let's convert or write these decimals as fractions. And of course, decimals are fractions, okay? And if you remember, it is very easy to write this as a fraction. You just take those digits, not the zeros, but those digits 6 and 1, write them as the numerator, and then the denominator. If there was only one decimal digit, if it was 0 0.9, you would have 9 tenths. Your denominator would be 10. If you had two decimal digits, your denominator would be 100, with two zeros in it. Now we have four decimal digits, so my denominator will be a power of 10 that has four zeros. One followed by four zeros. Let's try another one. I'll just copy all those digits, starting from 2 till 8. Okay? 2, 1, 3, 0, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The denominator is actually 10 to the fifth power, or 1 followed by 5 zeros. I could, of course, write this as a mixed number, too. I could write it as 2 and, and then put 13,078 on the top as the numerator and then the same denominator. How about the other way? Can you change this fraction into a decimal? This one is an easy one, because we can find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. 50 times 2 is here, and then 13 times 2, 26. So it is 26 hundredths, or 0 0.26. This one ends up being easy too, because it just so happens that these two are divisible by 4, so I can simplify and again get an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100 here. 400 divided by 4 gives me 100, and 84 divided by 4 is 21. So this is 0 0.21. The next problems have both fractions and decimals. So what should you do here? How do you add? Okay, you have to either think in fractions or in decimals, though decimals are fractions. But it does help us if we write both of these as decimals. Or we can try write both of them as fractions. But in fraction addition, if you have different denominators, you have more work to do. So I think this will be easier if we change this number here into a decimal. So four-fifths as a decimal. Four-fifths is equal to eight-tenths. So we get 3.8, eight-tenths. And then 9 tenths here, and so the addition is 4 and 7 tenths. Over here, I'm going to try to do the same. Write this as a decimal, so it is 7 tenths, 0 0.7. And here's 7 hundredths. Do you remember this little trick to make decimal addition or subtraction easier? If the decimals have a different number of decimal digits. You can tag a 0 here, and it will not change its value. And now we have 70 and 7 hundredths, okay? And so the answer is 63 hundredths. Here I drew a number line, and our task is to mark on it all these different numbers, some fractions, some decimals. One fifth, okay. Now this number line from 0 to 1 is divided into 10 parts, not 5 parts. So it would definitely help to find an equivalent fraction, which we can find, with so many tenths. And surely you can do that. Two tenths is the same as one-fifth. So we go two steps. Here's my one-fifth. Three-fourths. Where would that be? My number line is divided into tenths, okay? And three-fourths is not so many tenths. It does not go evenly. 4 does not go evenly into 10, so I could write it like that. But it is equal to another fraction with a denominator of 100, and that is 75. And I think we can five s find 75 hundredths here, because it happens to be midway between 7 and 8 
tenths. It's midway between 70 and 80 hundredths, or 7 and 8 tenths. 3, 4, 5, 6, here's 7 tenths, 8 tenths. So over here is 3 fourths. 1 and 1 third. Now this can be tricky. Okay, it's more than 1, it's somewhere here, but 1 third. Okay, I'm going to show you something. 1 third. Could you think how many hundredths it is? Well, it's not evenly any number of hundredths. Three does not go into hundreds, so I cannot write an equivalent fraction like that. But it's pretty close to one, because one third is 33 over 99. Okay? And now this is not equal, but this is about. So it is pretty close to 33 hundredths. So let's find 33 hundredths here on the number line. I mean, one and thirty-three hundredths is one. Here would be one and one tenth, then two tenths, three tenths, which is the same as thirty hundredths. So a little bit past that, one third way between this and this. Over here. Now zero point nine five. Okay, we can find zero point nine first or nine tenths, which is right here, and then nine five. It would be here, in the midpoint between 9 tenths and 1. 1. 1.6, well that's easy, 1 and 6 tenths, this is divided into tenths. So I just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here is the sixth tenth after 1. And then 0. 0.41 is a little bit past 0. 0.4. Here's 4 tenths. Just a little bit past that, because if you imagine this divided into 10 new parts, then it would be the first mark after that.